Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and this is Lesson 22 in How to Fix the Banking System. It's a continuation of a critique of an article which explained the Patacon bond currency used by the province of Argentina to keep all their employees and people at work. So, check it out. So, paragraph 15. Oswaldo Vial, president of the Buenos Aires Province Industrial Union, offered total support for the new currency, while Alto Palermo, a company which runs shelling shopping malls, is negotiating with stores to accept the notes. Argentina's world champion soccer team are taking them. Blah, blah, blah. So, paragraph 2 now. I don't know if my salary has been devalued or not, said the 43-year-old Mr. Rodriguez, one of 160,000 employees and retirees in the province of Buenos Aires, getting paid in the new currency. It depends on how I'll be able to use these patacons. Gee, I guess it never dawned on them that if the store and the buses and the telephone and the power and all these companies are taking them, he'll have lots of places to spend them. You gotta admit, he certainly does seem stupid for a guy in a country and where does Mr. Crumb the reporter find these idiots to get comments out of that they don't know what they're going to be able to spend it on when they can spend it everywhere so anyway Still, the big question is, how do we use the patacons? Of course, a one peso bond can pay his water bill, as well as a one peso bill could. A one peso bond can pay his telephone bill, as well as a one peso bill can. A one peso bond can get him transportation, as well as a one peso bill. A one peso bond can get him transportation, uh, can pay his house mortgage, as well as a one peso bill. And a one peso bond can pay his federal and municipal taxes, as well as a one peso bill, too. And he's asking, how will I be able to use these patacons. Of course, in the original article, the reporter put the fact that all the large corporations are going to be taking new money at the end of the article, and the opinions expressed of his doubters aren't provably laughable at that point for that reason. So while you are unaware that all the big companies are going to take it, you can take their comments seriously. But learning about the companies earlier, then the stupidity of these quotes becomes clear. Paragraph 3. As the Petacon, a one-year security with 7% interest, went into circulation yesterday, residents weren't sure what it was worth. One dollar, one dollar. Gee, can't figure out what it's worth, you know. Economists said the bill, the bills undermine the peso's one-to-one -one exchange rate with the dollar. The economy's anchor for a decade. Of course, they can't explain how that happens, and we know about shift B inflation. So we say they say we're endangering their anchor as if it's been a great anchor when everybody's screaming that it's not. So paragraph four, the Buenos Aires province, Argentina's largest with 14 million people, more than a third of them um, printed 95 million in new notes after the banks limited access to loans, just like we have here in our countries. Provincial employees began withdrawing their patacons in July over above 740 pesos, three weeks after the payment was due. Other provinces strapped for cash plan to follow Buenos Aires' lead. Well, when Argentina faced the banks who wouldn't grant the loan, they said, we'll do like Salta did in the 80s, print our own. Any bets that Salta is soon on the list? The province of Salta was the first of the six provinces who, when they ran out of cash in the early 80s, used small denomination interest-free bonds to pay all their employees, thereby, thereby causing dro huge drops in unemployment and inflation. The same thing will happen here. Even though their 7% interest on the bonds is an unnecessary, even if perhaps attractive feature, it's not so bad thinking when you think that the worker who accepts the bond for his labor is going to get the 7% interest instead of some foreign New York bank. More on the SALT experiment later. Well, I explained that earlier, didn't I? Paragraph 6. When a pile of worthless paper, the provinces are printing avalanches... And, of course, you can pay your taxes with it, and you can spend it in all the stores. So, it's not piles of worthless paper. Cheap shot. The federal government will not be politically able to stand by and just watch the Argentine people suffer the consequence, said Colin Negrich, manager of the Centaur Fund, a hedge fund in New York. And, of course, we think back now, seven years later, and realize that Argentina dug its way out of debt simply because they used these currencies, and he is completely reversed and backwards, as most economists are. So, as for the New York bond salesman, saying that all the paper that can buy all these things is worthless, 
Did we really expect the New York bankers to approve an idea where the interest they used to collect on large denomination bonds that only they could accept going to the guys who accepted the small denomination bonds for the work they did? All that worthless paper that they can only pay people's water, telephone, transport, and rent bills. Quick, throw all that worthless paper away, says the financial advisor. Throw it all over here. Paragraph 7. The new money, which looks like an oversized peso bill, arrived as Argentine officials entered the 12th day of negotiations with the IMF for as much as $9 billion in new loans. In all, they're in debt for $153 billion. Brazil's Globo News reported Argentina may announce agreement with the IMF as early as tonight. The benchmark burned. Anyway, most of the $9 billion is going to be used to pay interest to the New York banks anyway. So, finally, already some residents fear the Patacon has no value. And I'm wondering, where did he find people as mentally impaired as to ask themselves if the piece of paper that buys them everything in town has any value or not? Of course, we still didn't know about all the companies that were taking it at, that, at the earlier point. So this didn't seem as stupid a statement as we now know it is. And we know that the reporter was trying to mislead us on purpose. So, eventually the federal government plans to issue a new note along which side which would replace the Patacon and other provincial currencies alongside the peso, giving them nationwide circulation. Though I do like the idea of the feds issuing their own bond currency to finance their activities, there's no reason to make the provinces give up theirs. It's too easy to phase the new out and back, get back to interest-bearing federal bonds to the New York banks. And any bets, that's exactly what they did. Paragraph 13. At the Alto Avila shopping mall, Hugo Noble doesn't trust the plan. We don't know what to do with them, says Hugo. Don't forget, at this point in the article, we don't know everybody else has taken them, okay? We don't know what to do with them, says Hugo. The sales manager of a store, my worry is what happens if we take the lawn and they change the rules. So that's David Plum's hatchet job on Argentina's new local currency. He chose to highlight the opinions of idiots who worry about what they spend their money on, despite finding out almost everything in town. Of course, in the article, only at the end do we find out almost everything in town can be bought with the new money. Had he put that at the start of the article, like I did, David wouldn't have been able to keep citing all these people asking, what's it worth? When they sound like idiots once you've heard what's it worth. A one peso bond is worth a one peso bill. All those repeated anxieties and doubts about patacons being worthless. And then we're told the doubts themselves are groundless. The admission of the truth at the end destroyed the whole previous inferences of worthlessness. It makes the whole piece look like a tissue of lies. Of course, when the alternative is using no federal currency or using some local currency, regardless of whether businesses want to accept the currency or not, if they accept, if they refuse to accept the only currency that everybody has, and they insist on selling for only currency that nobody has, <laughs> then they won't stay open for long to oppose it for long, right? So, after all, like the government governor said, it's the only currency they're going to have. Everyone's going to be using it. And like I say, what idiots would say such negotiable paper has no value? And where did David Plum find them?